Thursday. It's so anticlimactic. I know. <laughs> I'll apologize now. I'm still uh, sort of sick, so you'll hear me coughing and hacking and losing my voice occasionally. So, uh, oh, Woo. money, please. At least you're getting paid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, someone just someone's RSVPing for the uh, nice the grand opening. Sweet. Oh. Um, I need to check on the, how many rsvps there are i haven't oh, checked true. i was gonna wonder what the number was i think it's a lot i think it's more than i thought um are good. you charging per head for, yeah. for... okay no i have <laughs> charge I sh- well right oh, before I you're I, yeah, maybe you, you should saying... maybe i should <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no um we are not charging it's free we're even going to be pro- providing some sort of food and drinks for those well, that's why i, I said that drink. All the Miller Lite you can. I mean, if someone wants to slip us some money, I'm not going to be like. You sure, know, you'll you'll have to have yeah. the tip jar. Your money's out. too good here. Yeah, no, I'll definitely. You, you get it. the VIP access if you bring beer to share. You know? True. If you bring something to share, you definitely uh, get at least a pat on the back. Yeah, <laughs> you get a selfie with Dan. Oh yeah! Actually, there you go. No oh, yeah. unless you paid. We, we need a, a selfie booth, Dan. You're just gonna be sitting oh, yeah, the yeah. whole time, yeah. like Santa Claus. Yeah. Full on, full on carnival, man. We need a dunk tank. Sitting yeah. on the couch, the Ferrari by the Ferrari dunk. rug. Oh man. Well, um, anyway, we were actually just discussing, uh, and and maybe I I could get some input from everyone to see what they want. So we're uh, just over a month away from the grand opening. And originally, so it kind of started off like, oh, maybe we'll just have some beer. Then I was like, yeah, we should probably provide food because I don't want people like coming there and then having to go somewhere to get food. Yeah. And so Tyler was all like, hey, I want. I was thinking about making a, a whole pig, like yeah. a hog. I, I've never done a whole hog and I want to try it. And what yeah. a perfect event then with like 50 people that will eat it yeah so i was like okay that sounds interesting but then i was like you know i'm gonna feel bad if tyler's like literally working to feed people and stuff like i don't it just doesn't sit right with me you know it's fair it's fair it's fair yeah Yeah, it just uh, yeah and like we were saying before my limit is like 50 people and if we're approaching yeah, over that i think it's gonna be closer to 100 people total but the yeah. other problem is it's gonna be spread out all day yeah so it's not yeah. like 50 people come they all eat at this time yeah and then There's you're a huge logistic oh, thing oh. there that i mean you could oh hey there he is there. what's up buddy hi, hi. Man. what's going on are you still you're not still on solo daddy duty are you uh, no 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 Okay. Thanks back. Thank God. <laughs> he just wandered no. in from. He just finished bath being time. alone. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Does he want to... Hey Meg. Oh, oh, hey don't... everybody. Don't touch Does the he mic. want to join the live? He wants yes. to hit keys on the keyboard. Yeah, he ah, wants to fuck everything up. Okay. Come here. <laughs> Someone's got to. Or, yeah, pretty much. I mean, Tyler, you could just just make whatever you want and then whoever's there when you're making it they can enjoy it and then like if they arrive too late it's like well, well too bad you, you yep. missed tyler's food so that was one of the thoughts was okay make burgers and stuff but then someone's literally sitting on the grill all day long right like you're just grilling all day long and that sucks yeah so then i was like well maybe we should hire a caterer and um then actually tyler just had a brilliant idea and actually someone just said it yeah he was like hey why not hire a food truck? So I'm thinking maybe that's the best solution because then, hey, you show up at 2.30 and the food truck's there. Oh, okay, I'll get a burger yeah. or brisket or whatever. It's fresh, prepared for it's you. It's fresh, made right then. So the only downside is, of course, um, the only thing I've seen happen that's a sucky thing with food trucks is usually it's only like one or two people working the truck. Yeah. So. It, you know, like you can't bum rush them, but the fact that it's spread out all day might actually be advantageous for mm-hmm. something like a food truck. Like that actually might work out perfectly for a food truck where it's just a steady, slow stream of, you know, three, four people here, three, four people there, whatever. So two food trucks, <laughs> that, I don't that would, that would get expensive. Money. One for dinner, lunch and dinner, the other for dessert. <laughs> It would, right. yet they have to be there all day, so they're going to charge you charge Dan for all day. And so, yeah, I wonder yeah, what that costs roughly. Be, a couple um, grand? No, it's going to be several thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. enough. It's yeah, everyone knows how to use barbecue, Chris, but it's 
you you can't let them cook their own stuff at a party. Like. Oh hell no, no. <laughs> that's just, I, that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Yeah, <laughs> I got food poisoning. Poisoning, <laughs> and, and by the way, I accidentally burnt down the building. Cause... <laughs> yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, you got to pay the. Well, yeah, you got to give them pay, a minimum. You have so a minimum they... for food truck, and then usually, I mean. A lot of times you would buy your own, like, you know, you pay them to show up and then they still charge the people. Yeah. But I don't know that I want to do that because I feel weird having people come to our event and then pay to eat. Just like, tell I, people who are bringing supercars to put a put a tray of wings on their exhaust, drive over. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Stu used to do, right? Yeah, get the, the <laughs> right, Burrito right. Express from Stu. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just, I, I mean, I feel like whatever this is my opportunity to give back to all of you who have you know been supporting of a bust so like so tender if, if we have to spend a couple <laughs> grand yeah whatever you know like we're, we're gonna Fine. spend i mean you know how much beer we're gonna buy <laughs> yes i mean that that alone is probably gonna be a thousand dollars in beer at least well we should be doing kegs if richard's giving you guys the keg writer yeah we could do keg. a keg <laughs> that's, that's infinitely true. cheaper it's substantially cheaper yes yeah and and less well I guess there's still cups, but I was going to say less likely to have like trash everywhere. That's one of the things I hate. Yeah. There's more chances for spills because people think uh, they know, you know how to use a beer tap, but I haven't, uh, I don't know if Loper's coming. I need to hit him up and see if it is. I need to hit up the old crew. Like I haven't seen too many of them say that they're coming yet. Hmm. It's because those slackers don't watch my videos anymore. <laughs> <laughs> What's your bathroom situation there? Uh, one bathroom. It's gonna be special. Do, is that has that not, not been featured on videos? I can't. I can't. I'd say, I mean, there's, there's a toilet. It's there. Okay. It's just just. A um. I mean, the other toilet. door. In the I mean, wall. we're okay. we're kind of rural there, so if you really got to pee, <laughs> yeah, go behind the building. Sure. No, I don't care. I've already done that I when the that. toilet was not running. I was like, oh, whatever. You know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a creek. We gotta get it flowing yeah. again. Might as well. Yeah. Right. <laughs> recycle beer pee in the creek. <laughs> I thought about like I was so right now there is a boatload of leaves that shed from the um, the, the cottonwoods. So oh. the cottonwoods are really not happy with the the lack of rain, right? And so they shed their leaves, which is way too early. I mean, they shouldn't be shedding them for at least another two months. And so there's just leaves everywhere. And I was about to hire a company to come out and pick up all the leaves, but half of me was like. Maybe I should just like brush all the leaves into the dry creek because it's sure. like it's a good like seven, eight feet deep, just a big divot <laughs> in the earth right now. But yeah. the thought that came to my mind was the first time it really rains and that thing really gets going, all those leaves are going to like jam up against yeah. something and then I'm going to flood something. You'll build a dam and yeah, regret exactly. it. <laughs> so I was like, that's mm, true. Probably shouldn't do that. So, oh, the. The new alpha whatever thing. Oh, yes. Two million dollars oh. or whatever. It looks gorgeous. It Is does. that the one that Valtteri Botas debuted? Uh, I saw a picture with him in it. He was there. I imagine yeah. that's it, but I didn't get a good yeah. look at the car. I don't know, but it, man. So, yeah, it's cool, but I mean, whatever. It's one of those hyper, super limited production hyper cars. Oh, how much for the black? For me? 33. That's sold. That sold before we even got a chance to list it. It just pff, was gone. When am I going to buy a La Ferrari? Probably never. <laughs> yeah. When you can make money on it, right? I mean, I would have to, number one, have access to a couple million dollars, and two, have one that I can make money on because I wouldn't want to own a couple million dollar car at this point. Yeah. Like, Nothing yeah, I'm, I'm not in that realm. Oh. <laughs> I got a long ways to go. I would like a million before I can do several million. You'll get there. Yes. Yes. I did see that Hoovy sold the FF. Yep. Oh. I was actually very sad about that. It's at a Chevy dealer right now. You can go buy it. <laughs> Dude, the funny thing is they're asking more than what we originally asked for it. Really? Yeah. They're Damn. asking 130 for it. Which still wow. is a good deal. I mean, oh, it's fan. Dude, that car is in great shape. It's in did great Hoobie shape. do anything to it? No, he just drove it a little and then let it sit outside. And then yeah. just got bored of it? Well, no. Someone came and some sh uh, um, 
dealership wanted to buy a bunch of cars from him. So he sold, I think, five or six cars to them or whatever. Okay. But yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you. The, we appreciate it. It's been so we're, we're down to like the last few things. It's like it's funny because there's been more than a few times now where Josh and I will just sit down on the on the chair or couch or whatever and just kind of look at it and be like, I can't believe how much work we've done. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't believe this thing's actually almost operational. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's crazy. Putting in a lot of a lot of time oh, and money. Huge, huge amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of money. Yes. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Are you sure you want to pay for food? <laughs> Not really, no, but, you know. <laughs> Like I said, yeah. put a tip jar out. Yeah, right. People will be generous. Right, right. <laughs> Jocko wants a Pagani. I mean, I'll buy your pizza, Jocko. If, uh... Yeah, Jocko, you got a few assets you could sell. Yeah, we can, <laughs> Super we can get you there. To see Josh finally working. <laughs> <laughs> Poor bastard. <sighs> oh, man, that's too funny. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. That's funny. Uh, Jocko is coming, right? Jocko? You're coming? I thought I thought you said you were, or at least you're delay. trying. Huh? I wonder. It's probably on delay. Yeah, yeah. I would imagine most of the people coming are the, the people uh, who tune into the lives, the diehards. Yeah, there's definitely, uh, I would say, like a high percentage of the live people are coming. Actually, the vast majority are local, hmm. which surprised me. There is like a huge number of people that are coming that are local. Sweet. So Greg's like, don't pay for food. We can we can pay for it. I mean, ah, whatever, you know. Oh, yes, we did see that that Mondial uh, just mm. twisted pile of metal. Oh, yeah. Sold. That was insane. You know, 1700 miles. That's that's, yeah, that's a short flight. Come on. Come on. I've definitely flown farther than that. No, get your passport here. Let's go. <laughs> no I, I, that's actually one of the things i i like i'm gonna feel bad about oh speaking of josh and working <laughs> made it. you made it <laughs> I'm tired. oh the rsvp link okay yeah, yeah one second is, is there it? a fan pointed at you josh getting some feedback can you hear it yeah yeah let me turn it off sounds turn like you're off. in an airplane there yeah. you go yeah that microphone's good yeah it is all of you there's the uh, grand opening link. It's ngsc.me slash grand opening. Nice. And it's still there. It's just quieter, by the way. It's off now. Oh, yeah, it's off. Huh. Oh, someone else. Yep, someone else just <laughs> RSVP'd. <laughs> nice. Who's Pretty this sure Casey guy? Gotta be one of these shit. people, right? <laughs> Josh looks a little suspicious and a bit <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to ban that guy from the making comments. <laughs> give, him, give him a timeout. <laughs> he needs a timeout. <laughs> oh, here you go. I have a Novatech tune on my 48. What tune do you did we have on the black one? Uh, it was uh, VR tuned. Whatever so, it is, it's it's the right one to have. <laughs> it's awesome. I like it. Did you guys send in the ECUs to yeah. VR? Yeah. Whoever that is. Yep. Nice. Is there anything you have to do once you get them back, or just plug and play? Plug them in. Just do a reset, yeah. At the 458, 48 comparison, uh, I've fallen down an F8 exhaust route hole and can't get up because it's all I can think about now. <laughs> Ask Casey. F- str- Casey straight piped his, for, uh, his F8. The F8 it- can be tricky because some of them do have the, uh, the particulate filter. Yeah. Mm. And I know even... Um, Forza, their valve controller, they don't like it can throw a, a check engine light with the valves open all the time. Because hmm. um, when the valves are open, the particular filters bitch because there's not enough back pressure. Oh. I saw the good. thumbnail for Hoovy's M6 or whatever. Did he actually pay 27 grand for that car? Did you guys watch it? Oh, I didn't, I didn't watch that video because oh, I didn't care about BMWs. Because that's way too much for that turd. <laughs> And it's a V10, by the way, not a V8. Um, I mean, I don't know how you can quantify a feeling. It feel, it, it feels much faster. I mean, it's it's like pin you in the seat fast versus like, damn, this is fast. You know? Yeah. 
But like, it's got less. Try, it's got less of that emotional feel from the lack of sound, or true. just a different sound. Well, right? I mean, so what? A four five eight is like a twelve second car in a quarter mile, and a forty eight with a tune can be like a low ten second car. And if you've ever ridden in a ten second car on the street. That's a ridiculously fast car. You owe me a 10 second car. You owe me a 10 <laughs> second car. Like, if you've ever been in a nine second car in the street, you're like, I just pissed myself. <laughs> the model, Tycon uh, Turbo. Model, the, would plaid, be the plaid. The yeah. plaid, eight, eight, high eights, I think. Yeah. It, Bro, your brother's Tycon Turbo. Yeah. That he used to have. Hmm. That one oh, you're going to bring the F8? Nice. All right, nice. Oh. So we can destroy some eardrums. Casey, are they still making videos on your cars? I remember when those would pop up, and I'd be like, they were the sickest videos. Casey said he's going to let us do a review on his F8 when he brings Ooh, it out. Sweet. So okay. We'll do that. Yes. <laughs> it's got a tune and an exhaust on it. Casey was revving the car on the phone earlier. <laughs> car sounds unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Is he trying to convince you to straight pipe your piece to Jocko? Oh, you so yeah, should. Yeah, right. So should. By the way, there was, there's a pista for sale that I want to buy so bad, so bad. It's not even funny. Like Which I'm ready one? to sell like all my cars, sell a testicle, whatever I need to do. It just, just one. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I don't need them anymore. I already got the kids. So I guess True. I can sell both. Yeah. You know, I just have to take supplements for the rest of my life. <laughs> But yeah, I want that car so bad. Just, what was the spec? Uh it's it's red, but black interior, some black stripe or red stripes, some carbon on everything. It's very cheap. It's extraordinarily mm. cheap. Like it's below market. So I was like, mmm. Mm. Super tempting. But still would take like every dollar I've got to do it. And so I bid two hundred for a testicle if it's the left one. <laughs> Add a K to that. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh man. <laughs> How many miles are on it? Uh I, don't I think I had seventy five hundred miles on it. Yeah, it was pretty low. Wow. Yeah. Is it it's way really less than five hundred K. Uh, yeah, it's a salvage. Blown heads. Okay. Oh salvage ship. I can't afford a non salvage one. It started with a three. Wow, that's, yeah, that's first really good. Three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, right I mean, there, I w- even at three ninety nine, it's like that's a deal. I mean, could you still? Was, would you still consider? Was, could you still make money on a salvage, or is it just too risky? No, no, it's too unknown. The problem. So I have a I told Dan there. started talking about. Oh, let's sell this, 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 and that, and I'm gonna get it. And I'm like, if you buy it, I'm fine with it, but we ain't gonna make money, and that, that's gonna be the your biggest, car. Here's the biggest <laughs> problem with it is. So it's salvage, so getting financing is impossible, if not mm. super difficult. So selling that car becomes a big problem because, yes, it's a discount from a non salvage pista, but it's still 300 in cash something. buyers. Yeah, so it's, it's someone who's got here's the problem someone yeah. who's got enough money to pay cash for 300 and something thousand dollars yeah. probably yeah. is in the same financial position to buy a $500,000 perfect right. condition pista yeah. and then they got some that's collectible and flawless and whatever yeah. you know so it's yeah that's stupid it's a tough it's a tough car to sell it's not like when you've got a hundred thousand dollar car that's salvaged and okay now it's only worth 75 you know it's like oh you know like yeah paying your buy- cash is a lot different than paying 300 plus thousand dollars cash yeah if you're buying it to drive it at least you don't feel bad about putting miles on it either well that's the thing is if i bought that car i would just drive the fuck out. it would be a good car for the channel to have a while if you could swing it the problem is that that car would be so good i don't think i would ever sell it and then i would just be (laughs) i mean that would be it i just i'd just rock the shit out of that car and drive it to the ground hell yeah and i'd borrow it every once in a while yeah sure (laughs) (laughs) if you have to Damn. Yeah, don't you have your own piece of work? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's in process. It's, I took started taking it apart yesterday. Yeah, we got. So. I, oh, that reminds me. Uh, this weekend, I got to do the the five seventy five. Mm. I wanted to see. Do you think it's possible to do it one day? I think so. The timing belt. Yeah. Yeah, 
I mean, if Josh is there, absolutely. All right, I need to I need to ping Josh because I bet we could do it. it We could probably knock it out in like six hours. Yeah, because um, um, uh, shit. Sean Jones was asking for us to come to uh, Pistons at the park on Sunday. Mm. So I can come. I got to bring my kids though. Actually, they'd probably be fine what? with that. <laughs> I can take them go karting. You blew a pista engine. Yeah, it's the first I've heard of this, Greg. Ooh. Yeah, how did we not know about this? Is that like a wow. extreme experience or your own pista? It sounds or like friends. It's probably like extreme experience type of thing, right? Cool. Yeah. Oh, so. hello, Char. <laughs> it's an old friend from Michigan. Mm. Way back in the day, I wow. helped her on her farm. She uh, helped her with her. Uh, she had like uh, Jack Russell Terriers that she was raising and some. Uh, some of our dogs and stuff. Anyway, Greg, wow. tell us the story about the blown engine because I want to hear yeah, that. Like, how did that happen? Because they don't let you just, use the paddles. Did you right? over rev it, they... or did you just did we just driving normal and it blew, or what? I I agree with this statement. I think the piece oh. they're looking at. I think, I think that's true. Hundred yeah. percent. I think the Pista might be one of the best looking modern Ferraris ever. I mean, they yeah, just. I agree with that. Hit, it's a total home run. Yeah. Total home run. Yeah. When the limp mode couldn't hold idle and start smoking. Ooh. Ooh. Do they let you shift or do you have to be in automatic mode? Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I'm I'm obviously not buying that car because I don't want to liquidate everything just to get one car. It would actually if it had been before we bought the building, I probably could have swung it, but now <laughs> I just think so much money into the building that I don't have that kind of money laying yeah. around. We need to sell some Ferraris first here. Right, yeah, I need to sell a bunch of Ferraris <laughs> first. Yeah. Um, I also, yeah, there's a bunch of other things that need my money more than the Pista. So, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Geez, lots of new posts. Uh, yeah. Okay, I have it. Thoughts on Porsche or just don't bother if you've already got an F430. Yeah. You got an RA V10 uh, 430. Unless you're going to get like an RS car or something like that, like a GT3 RS to play around, but you'll get bored with that pretty quick. Yeah. Really? I think Straight so. pipe a, G, uh, a manual GT3. It's a cool car, but I mean, it's going to get boring. I mean, it's not a daily driver car. Oh, I like this question. This one's going to go. This is a long answer, but why are you limiting your dealership to Ferraris only? Well, <laughs> so historically, we have not done very well on other brands. Um, part of it is we've uh, we've had a hard time selling. We've we've found so far, and granted, this is partially anecdotal because we haven't done a ton of other brands. We've obviously sold probably at least twenty x more Ferraris than McLarens and Lamborghinis combined, but we've had a much more difficult time selling non Ferraris. So um, whether it's the prices, like the margins, we have, we've not made much money on any of the other brands, like all the other uh, non-Ferrari brands. If you add up all the cars we've sold, I bet you, you know, if you, if you net it out with the losses we had on some of those cars, then I don't even know if we made any money on, on the non-Ferrari brands. We may have actually had a loss. The other thing too is, you know, when you're running a dealership, you especially a small one like us, it's best to find your niche right. in the market. Yep. You know, when I started my dealership, I was like, I'm just going to buy and sell anything that makes money. And then I, over time, narrowed it down and that really benefited me. So I think we're kind of doing the same thing here. And we know those, we know Ferraris, we know and, how to fix them. We know and that's how exactly, to look for I think and, the, the biggest thing is we know Ferraris so well, especially the Ferraris that we're generally selling, like the 430, 360, 458, 488, um, you know, 575, 4, 599, all those California, all those cars we know very, very well. And we feel very comfortable like buying them when they're not in pristine condition. And that's where we can make a bunch of money is we buy one that's below market because someone didn't maintain it. We put a couple grand into it. We fix it up, spend a little time. The next thing you know, and, and yes, and exactly our audience is primarily Ferrari people. So if yep. you're watching this channel, 
you know, we, yep. good or bad, we've we've been pigeonholed into the Ferrari world. So I, and I'm fine with that. Like honestly, I like Ferraris the most. I enjoy them the most. So I don't really, you know. Um, my old dealership. Uh, basically, what happened is COVID. I was working three times as hard to make half the money. And finally, it was just like, it's not worth it. What happened is all the um, places like Carvana and Vroom and even CarMax swooped in and started buying everything. I had yeah. could not compete with, with them. They were buying every single car that would go across the auction block. And I couldn't compete with it. And it was just, I relied on my you know customers, my repeat customers and stuff for two years. And then finally, I was just like, it's not worth it. Um, so that's what happened. That's what you're doing and primarily I, before Dan? before you joined yeah i was selling like 15 to 20 cars a month by myself it was a lot of work i worked a lot of work a lot of work um i narrowed it down to pretty much i was only selling audis bmws and mercedes and porsches and priuses and priuses i did have a a prius niche i sold probably (laughs) 150 200 plus priuses jesus wow (laughs) And I had a another thing on the side where I was rebuilding the hybrid batteries. So You're I would kidding. buy them. And I would buy them in, in needing batteries, and I would rebuild the hybrid batteries. Oh, so you have a prior <laughs> hybrid battery experience. You can work on. Yeah. Um, SF90s. That's why I hate. That's why I hate, That's why I hate all the new hybrid cars because yeah. I've Makes seen sense. the inner workings of of a hybrid system, and I know how it works, and mm. I just don't know how the new ones are going to be maintained because even a Prius is very complicated and it's hard to figure stuff out. And that car has been around for 15 years. Yep. Yeah. You know, so. Hmm. Yeah. But the Prius is in Austin. They sold like crazy. I would get them and sell them in the same day. It, oh yeah. And I it's bet. funny how you don't see them at all anymore. They're just gone. <laughs> well, it's cause well, now we're going to switch to Tesla. Converters. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Well, that's a different. That's a story for another day on the kettle <laughs> converters on the oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, <that> too. <laughs> I made a lot of money doing that, but uh, what? Yeah, cutting them uh, out. Well, I would buy scrap cars and take the cats out and sell them because the cat is worth more than the car. Yeah, <laughs> insane. I thought you meant you were yeah. the one under the car. No, 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 cutting no. Them out. no. Yeah, hell no. Late at night, Josh is getting shot at. at. <laughs> <laughs> proud of it too um but yeah maybe i'll tell some stories about that another day but uh the priuses were they kept me afloat for a long time tyler someone wants to see your doggy oh what i don't have a dog I was, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh he's super quiet man he's yeah. chill dude is he is he always there behind you uh some nights man he's yeah. a chill dog She'll get up. like my puppy oh yeah. Oh, uh, hey, Dan, I want to say thanks for helping me out with the two separate checks question. Oh, the Viper. Yes, I remember. He turned out to be a flake, but you were a huge help. Oh, oh. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I feel like um, anytime you're wanting to start paying money to someone to buy a car and they're throwing up red flags and not taking your money, something ain't right. Like, he, so the, the, the quick background of this, which it's just it's just an interesting situation. Uh, apparently, um, this guy had a deal to buy a Viper here in Austin or something, and this the seller he said he he had two he wanted to give two separate checks one from you know one bank and one from another bank, which whatever two checks who gives a shit right? And apparently that freaked out the seller and the seller's like no I can't take two checks it has to be one, and so I'm like I don't know why they're losing their shit over that that doesn't make any sense to me like we take we get multiple checks all the time mm-hmm. all the time yeah, you know frequently it's, it's like someone that hasn't sold a car recently that was obviously going to be sketched out a little bit by that yeah i can understand that yeah but anyway that was uh an and don't sell situation. a car or private party on your own if you can't deal with that stuff yeah i mean th- mm-hmm. this is like it's it's interesting because now that we do what we do for a living. Like you see people trying to sell cars on their own and they're dealing with all this crap and they get frustrated and they, you know, and you, it's like, yeah, this is why dealerships do what we do. Cause we deal with all that crap and we have to put up with all the bullshit and, yeah. you know, so it's, especially with these type of cars. I mean, let's be real. If you're selling a Ferrari, 
you're going to have a lot of questions. You're going to have, show me this picture, show me that, show me this, you know, do all these things and all that stuff and jump through all these hoops. I want to see the service records. I want to know how many owners I want to, you know, what's the clutch life, all these things that you're going to have to do. And if you aren't prepared to do that, it's going to be frustrating. And that's just the questions. Yeah. Then you get into financing and all the other crap and transportation and blah, blah, blah. Test drives. Yeah. Oh. Test drive. Well, and that's the other thing. I mean, test drives talk about a concern, right? Like at least we have dealership insurance. You know, if someone's test driving your car, mm -hmm. your personal property, that's on you. Yeah. Like if they crash your car. So if you let someone drive your car, your insurance covers that person driving your property. So if yep. they wreck it, your insurance is paying for it and your insurance can go through the roof. Just so you know. True story. True story. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't have any experience with that. Does that happen to you, Tyler? <laughs> no, but it it's one of those when like I've definitely when, asked when it's like, hey, my friends need to like I need to give them this car so they can drive it somewhere and they're like, Oh yeah, it goes back on you. I'm like okay, yeah. That's why if you yep. loan a car out, I always ask for insurance. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, have them provide it. Yeah. I mean, even if you ask for it though, they don't they don't have to. They don't have like, to, but it's a good I mean, it's it's good to know that if you're good friends with someone, like they would you'd yeah. you'd hope put you'd it on hope. their insurance yeah. if it cover if it has enough coverage. But I mean mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I totally forgot about the scams. Oh yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you would at least need someone to consult with if you're doing it alone. Right. Thoughts on McLaren 600 oh. LT versus Hurricane Evo. Underwhelmed. You drive both. The, hur the Hurricane can go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we're I all on Team McLaren on this one. I don't know why you <laughs> thought the 600 LT was underwhelming. Yeah, yeah I would rather have the 600 LT. I've never LT. heard anybody say that about yeah. the car. The, the car's a beast. I mean, holy shit. Yeah. Oh, is it I, broken? Like, I wonder what the, where yeah, were you driving it? Maybe they behave differently in different contexts. Oh, well, yeah, and, it in and sport mode? <laughs> absolutely never. Yes, never. never. Oh, never renting out one? Interesting. Hell no. <laughs> I get I mean, asked, believe it or not. I'll rent it out for the asking price. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We actually, I get asked that probably three, four times a month. Hey, I can't afford your car, but can I rent it to take a date out? Or can I rent it for my prom? Or can I rent it for whatever? And I'm always just like, we do not rent our cars. <laughs> no, absolutely not. First of all, God. our dealership insurance would not cover that car. Yeah. So no, never. So people do rent them. I rented one from Turo in Austin, the California. Sure. It was only five hundred bucks for twenty. And those people. And you got are... in a wreck. So. Someone, yeah, this girl back. <laughs> and you got in a wreck, and that's exactly <laughs> why. But then I brought it back, and they're like. They're like seriously, don't worry about it. This type, they said, they said this type of stuff happens all the time. I'm like, are you, are you serious? Yes. They're like, this isn't even that bad. I'm like, okay. Well, yep. Wow. Damn. It was just paint work, but it sucked. It was like, you got to be kidding me. The one it, you I have you a Ferrari for 24 the, hours. You had all the insurance and stuff on it, right? Oh, I didn't know a dime. I, the, I got the deposit back. The Turo insurance covered it all. It yep. just it was a little bit of a hassle. You had to, like a couple of weeks. I did take phone calls and stuff, but. I said they probably out. jumped. They they you probably paid for like the super high level insurance then. The medium one, whatever that was. Medium one, like okay. Medium but it wasn't tier. your fault either, right? No, it wasn't. Mm. No, oh, I was okay. stopped at a red light, and this girl just started backing up out of nowhere. Uh. <laughs> and of course, I wasn't like uh, now I know, but at the time I didn't know exactly where the horn was. Yeah, you and it, was, it, was, it was top down, so my wife and I were yelling. Like stop, 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 stop! What are you doing? <laughs> and then we we couldn't believe it. It's like oh uh, man, we were in shock. Oh, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's it's awesome. a good story. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, I don't want to deal with rentals. It just seems like an absolute, absolute nightmare. I mean, we've already done the Turo thing, and that was a nightmare. And that wasn't even Ferraris. That was just you know Corvette, Porsche, Jaguar, um, Maserati, and it's still. Like the number of times that our cars got damaged in one year is it was astronomical. It was yeah. huge. I mean, it was like, it was seriously like 25% of the time that they got rutted out, they would get damaged. 
because people just suck. And the problem is, especially with rental, these aren't car fanatics running the cars usually. It's it's someone who's like, oh, I'm going to yeah. try and look like a baller this weekend. I'm going to be cool. <laughs> and so, like, they would always come back smelling like pot, which would be fine oh. except for we're in Austin. So, you know, it's like, and then yeah. it stinks. I mean, that's why our G-Wagon was such a piece of shit. Was, oh, dude. Oh they God. never fixed anything. People break it, and they just, next dude, rental. Here you you don't make any money fixing it because yeah. then the car is it's disabled for a period of time and all that stuff and blah, blah, blah. It's like, eh, no, hell no. Just terrible. Not interested. So, mm -mm. Um, oh, here you go. I've seen a couple first gen Gardos and 360s with six speed manuals going for under or low 100Ks lately. Yeah. Up in that market. Yeah, buy them. It's gone down. It's a deal. I actually like the Gallardo if it's got a manual and it's yeah. clean. I don't have a problem with that car. I, I mean, that is a screaming deal, man. Mm -hmm. Like, would not flinch to do that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yep. Um, so, I mean, here's the problem. Even if you buy a car in Canada, then you're still paid an import tax and they're not worth as much and they're harder <laughs> to sell because on the Carfax, it's a Canadian car. And so, you have to you have to change the speedometer and stuff because people are weirded out by that. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just too much hassle. It's not worth it. Yeah. Hmm. There was a guy that hit us up, was like, hey, I live in Japan and was wondering if you guys would want me to start helping you find cars to buy in Japan because the the yen's so depressed that, you know, the exchange rate makes it so like like you can buy a five nine nine for under a hundred grand there right now. Oh shit. Whoa. Which is yeah. like <laughs> crazy but then it's like okay so i gotta pay to put it on a boat i gotta probably i mean who who's gonna inspect it do i really know if i'm getting the car or am i getting screwed yeah then it gets imported then i have taxes then it takes however long it takes to get federalized and all that shit just not worth it man like there's so many cars in the u.s already and there's enough money to be made doing those cars that i just don't want to get in the import export business not at this yeah. point let someone that's in that business already deal with it. Yeah. 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 I, I'm just sorry. Like we've, we've got enough stuff to figure out without having to worry about shipping a multi hundred thousand dollar piece of property across the ocean. No, yeah. thanks. <laughs> Kettlebell mentioned I, he I likes Jags. Ship... Oh. <laughs> and I do too. I, mean, I had one, but I think the big problem, Dan, with your F type, was outside of the engine issues and people breaking it was you had the older model with the two yeah. batteries and with the GPS unit plugged in for Turo, it, it would the drain battery. the battery. And yeah. that's a known issue with those cars. And yeah, I, I would have hated it too, but well, I didn't, that didn't, once we figured that out, that wasn't a big deal. Yeah. But I mean, the fact that we spent, we spent like 10 grand fixing that piece it's of crap. Damn car. Well, well, that's yeah. the other problem with those older ones is, all that plastic turns brittle and yeah, then all, all the coolant the lines it only, shatter had, it only had 30 something thousand miles on it yeah but it was, it was falling it was apart the age yeah yeah age the, and heat the 456 that we had from hoovy was um i think it was in dubai at some point originally it was in some other country i don't know it was in europe for a lot of its life and that car is a prime example of why you don't import a car I mean, if you saw the video where they took apart the engine, oh god! And how much shit! Like they just cut every corner doing that engine. Like that engine was on its death throes. Like the fact that it did not blow up is a miracle. Huh. We got so like the oh, fact we got that so Hoovy, lucky. We got so lucky that Hoovy bought that thing back. I mean, <laughs> yeah. That I mean, that car is a, that was a time bomb waiting to go off, and Hoovy diffused it with like. A millimeter of fuse left. Yeah, that's crazy. So, hell no! Like yeah, just the you fact, guys drove that back. Yeah, just the fact we made it through stop and go traffic in Fort Worth Barely. with that with it yeah. like on the verge of blowing up. I mean, did you see the timing belt yeah. nuts were hammered on? Yes. I was like, oh my god! Like all it takes. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like oh my god! That thing was just waiting to go, just absolutely waiting to go. Yeah, no, thank you. So, yeah. Yeah, and the bolts weren't torqued properly. I mean, just yep. that 
is exactly why we would not want to buy a car from another country because i just feel like they don't have the same standards they don't you know like well and they're dumping it and knowing yeah. it's never going to be their problem again there's another funny thing is like um i wouldn't buy cars from japan because there is a lot of cars that have been on the track in japan they get flogged really hard hmm. like racing cars is more in tune with their culture hmm. so <clears throat> any cars that hit the track over there they don't get most likely maintained as well as they should so it's kind of like it's it's like the f40s right the f40s a huge number of f40s ended up in japan because they had an f40 exclusive racing series and so all those f40s if they mm. ended up in japan at any point in their life you do not want that f40 because that thing was not maintained correctly it was beat to hell so no <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I've I've seen the Aussie prices, and I'm um, for everything, not just Ferraris. Oh, true, but Even, especially for yeah. Ferraris. Yeah, dude, there was a a fascinating video I saw the other day. It was actually from Haggerty's YouTube channel, and there was this guy who went through a bunch of collections of supercars in Singapore. Hmm. And I, I don't know if any of you know about Singapore, but they have like. Uh, like, like you have to pay like a use it's tax. Extremely, there's the taxes there, and I think it's, I think it's like a hundred percent the value of the yeah. car. Oh, every ten yeah. years. Oh wow! Like so, like a a, a two hundred thousand so, dollar car will cost you four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, but that's so like the actual cost of like a regular car is like yeah. six figures for like a Toyota. So then you you like take a supercar and the, these people had like hypercars like they had Paganis and Kodasegs and shit, and so you're like doing the math in your head. Okay, so that car is a three four million dollar car and you paid a four million dollar tax on the car. Like, see so that car is costing you like ten million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so stupid. And they would have like eight of them laying up. You're just like, oh my god. People play at different They're, levels, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the truth. Here we go. Here we go. Oop, let me, when you're there, it letting me click probably doesn't seem that crazy. Go. Oh, should I trade both my scudded F12 for a speciality? Oof. No. No. <coughs> uh, that's probably tough. I probably not. I probably wouldn't. Yeah, because you can I mean, drive both of those. You have that rawness of the mid engine with the scud. Here's to be the problem: is the speciality is so valuable. That are you going to be willing to drive it and risk yeah. that devaluation by putting miles on it? I mean, I would probably do a pista if you're going to do that. Yeah, it's pretty close to the same price at this point. About the same money. Yeah, that's that's a tough question, man. I I would say if you are looking to make money, yes. If you're wanting a car to drive, no. Yeah, there you go. It's a good answer because i feel like i i think knowing you like i know you you're gonna want to drive it and so i think it's a bad idea for your lifestyle mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man hmm. they do have good roads in singapore because there's no cars because <laughs> no one can afford them yeah what was interesting was um when we were in Malaysia, um, we were on the road and they were telling us that like on the weekend, all the people in Singapore drive into Malaysia for the weekend to go drive their cars because the, you know, the Malaysians don't give a crap. And so they would just bribe all the police officers and just literally like, just they get pulled over. They literally just hold money out the window and the police officers mm -hmm. take it and they just keep going. So they didn't, you know, it was just totally interesting. That's awesome. You know, yeah, I was like, because like we were stupid speed limits in, in Singapore. Well, there's just, it's, there's no like real open roads, so to speak, you know, like it's, it's a tiny, tiny little island. You can't even chew gum, right? <laughs> yeah. I think that's. Chewing, chewing gum's illegal. Yeah. So uh, yeah, burn rubber. Oh, yep. Sorry. Hit my mic. Um, you don't think scuds have a lot of appreciation left? I I do. I feel like they're undervalued right now. 
Um, we were actually just joking about this because there's a a 360 that we were looking at, a 360 Challenge Stradale, and those have come up massively in the last year. Hmm. And they're finally kind of, I think, where they should have been. But the Challenge Stradales are now worth more than scuds in lots of cases and that wow. doesn't really make sense to it, me it, yeah. it does in the fact that they made less of them there's right. less cs's out far there. far less far less yeah. for the car they're way more rare not even close right yeah but i feel like as far as like what you get for the car i mean not i even think it's good if you're buying one to try to make money i mean you can't drive it and it has to be low mile and it has to be a good spec in yeah. other, other words, you just drive it and just enjoy it because it's not going to appreciate. Yeah, it's going to hold value good. It'll hold its value, yeah. Like, they are fantastic cars, and they're always going to be super desirable. So, by the way, if you're going to sell your car, Greg, uh, we will definitely buy it. <laughs> <laughs> cars. Yes. Oh, that car is badass. The the blue on it is just epic. Is he, are you in Austin? Or seen Austin? Greg, Greg is, yeah. Is that the one that's typically at Josh's uh, shop? It's been at Josh's shop a few times. Yeah. Yeah, it's the uh, uh, Abu Dhabi blue. I think yeah, I, I think I see it in the picture. Yeah. Yeah, in the picture yeah. with the gold wheels. It's... Mm, and the client on the F12 is hmm. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I should drive with the new 360 Trev tune. Okay. <laughs> Twist my arm. <laughs> uh, have any of you driven the first gen Ford GT? No, nope. I, I, nope. I would like to. That'd be fun. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like it'll oh, be underwhelming. Oh, Miss this. Congratulations. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. That's awesome. How you liking it? <laughs> yeah, right. Dude. That's this is true of all Ferraris. Like all the Ferraris you see for sale all the time are always black because no one wants a black Ferrari. So, like, just because a Ferrari's black, it's probably fifteen to twenty percent less valuable. If it wasn't so hard to keep clean, they would look beautiful. Crazy. But yeah. yeah, yeah, those two black the forty eight. I think on the older there. ones that's more true. On the newer ones, maybe not as yeah. not as much. I mean, what, still, the they're still not easier? as good. The newer ones, black is not as bad as on an older mm -hmm. one. Yeah, I mean, but still, there's definitely a price disparity. Yeah. Also, same with like silver. Like yeah. silver's the worst. Silver is probably the worst car color. Like, so someone was wanting to sell us a silver 360 today, and we were just like, nope. Oh, really? Up, you tried like, that. It took forever. Wow. Yeah, like, no thanks. We're not gonna. Like the only way we would ever take another silver three hundred and sixty is if it's just stupid cheap. We could just sell it at a rock bottom price and give it away to someone. So, hmm. black cars are too hot. Yes, Jacko. I agree. <laughs> Someone's painting their Ferrari uh. from black to red. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder how that's gonna affect its value. Hmm. Uh, I got an F8 earlier this year. Traded a 48. Feels like the F8 flies under the radar with such a short production run and all the attention on the hybrid these days. It kind of isn't. It's 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 a weird place for that car, isn't it? Like, are they completely done with them? I think so. Aren't they're they? They're not making the coupe anymore, but they're still making the Spider, as okay. far as I know so annoying yeah yeah I, I hate that they do stuff like that i don't want a spider <laughs> i mean i do want a mclaren but i don't know about a ferrari yeah no, no thanks um i mean for the right price but it'd have to be really cheap you, oh it just wasn't a good price for you guys i mean it was it was a an okay price, but we knew that it would sit there forever. So the silver's tough. Did it, what was the interior? Um, 
that's the other problem. A lot of times the silver cars have like blue interiors. And mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like gray. those. But it, but it has like a maroon red. That can look yeah, good. Yeah, silver with red guts like that. Yep. 430 you have right or well, maybe that you sold one's, it that one's oh, like I, a deep gray like a gun like that gray yeah the the dark red. gray is fine the, yeah. the light silver is not <coughs> okay yeah uh adam has not been with us for for with the company for well over a year so you're definitely behind <laughs> it's been a long time man uh actually no i guess it hasn't been quite a year it's almost a year yeah almost a year right like yeah, maybe, yeah whatever Nine months? Anyway. yeah whatever Irrelevant. <laughs> Moving on. No one cares about that. Uh, oh, Shane, what's up, man? You still mm. have your, your CNC yellow Ooh. 430? World's most expensive <laughs> Wow. Uh, man. Yeah. That's, that doesn't uh, sound like fun. No. That, that situation still is just... Mm. Sucks. Dark gray is my favorite Ferrari color. Well, lucky you, we have one for you. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> what, the 430? Yeah, 430. That, I, I like that color combo, the dark gray with the red seats. That looks yeah. badass. Yep. But, I mean, just just as we've always said, it's it's not selling as easy as the traditional the Ferrari one. colors, like red yeah. on tan or red on black or you know stuff like that just always sell so much easier favorite car at car week i think we talked about this one it's still yeah, hard to answer do. though it is Too many. i mean you gotta like categorize it right <laughs> favorite car on the road Ooh. <clears throat> so i'm not at a show yeah i mean sp3 Oh, we did see from, that. From watching, that was on the road. From watching the videos, it was the F50 for me, seeing it <laughs> parked under the tree. That was pretty cool. Just <laughs> sitting was, there. That was pretty. Just risking out. bird birds crapping in it. Yeah, and, and it was no. Casey with the eagle eyes, like F50, you're going this way. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're just we're walking down the street, and it just goes er, F50. It just turns. We're like, oh shit. So, uh, yes, I know I can block certain words. The problem is I've. I've previously blocked certain names of certain individuals who I don't want ever mentioned on this channel ever again. And the problem is other individuals have that name. So it kind of poses a problem. Yep. You know, but yeah. Anyway, the GTO was pretty epic. Seeing the 288 GTO on the mm-hmm. road was really a treat. Oh, yes. The new Fry movie trailer. I did see that. And yes, we will have to definitely go see that that'll be awesome when's that come out uh christmas day mm. oh okay. is that the one with adam driver who plays yes. Enzo? yes okay i saw an ad for yeah, it we, let's do that that'd be fun yeah that black Countach was still <sighs> impressive it was just that was my favorite old car I yeah think. yeah that's yeah. that's one of those where like you're just you. You're appreciating the labor that went into making that car as good a shape it was. Like that should have been at a concourse. Like it was so yeah. detailed yeah. that it was yeah. like a high concourse car. Yeah, like you walk up to any uh, Countach and it's like, oh, this thing's an absolute piece of shit when you get up close yeah. to it. Like the paint's oh, yeah, cracked like, and like there's rust. Yeah, there's and that bubbles. car was like off the showroom floor. Like holy shit! Didn't weren't the um, the guts I like just restored comment. too? Yeah, <laughs> can't wait to paint up my family and go see a friend. Oh, no. oh, that's true. A lot of dilemmas going to happen in the car world. Yeah, it is. That's a big. <clears throat> a lot of guys are going to be stepping away from the family so, party. Funny, funny you mentioned this. I actually uh, solicited the FCA about doing exactly that. I was oh, like, dude, cool. if they don't, if they don't act on it, I'll, I'll see if it's possible. That's a good point. I, I mean, I would, I would have no problem going to a theater and saying hey like how much is it to rent out the whole thing and have our friends like take it over because that how awesome would it be to go and have it be all ferrari owners parking their ferraris in the parking That'd be lot badass That'd be yeah. pretty cool. ferrari movie like just have a whole section of just ferraris there and everyone else would be like what in the world it's, man reminds me of when the bond movie came out a few years ago and a bunch of people brought their astons yeah 
Yes, that was cool. Well, um, they did uh, when the Ford versus Ferrari came out. They had that where they did a, a Ford and Ferrari yeah. invite, and so the entire parking lot was Fords and Ferraris. That was sick. That was pretty cool. Like that was really neat. And they had all the Ferraris on one side and all the Fords on the other side. It was. Nice. Well, if we awesome. rent a theater out, we got to do the one with the reclining chairs and stuff. Oh yeah. no! It's got to be the movie house. Oh yeah. It's got to be yeah. the movie house. Like, all the other theaters in town suck compared to the movie house. Because the food there is awesome, too. I've never heard of the movie house. You haven't been to the movie I house? Pick, I pick no. is okay, too. I didn't hear, I pick the I main thing, but, like, then you're in the domain. <laughs> movie house. <laughs> well, True. you know, like... Not the draft house, right? Not the dra- not Alamo draft, draft house. house is cool. It's got its Austin thing. Yeah. But the food at the movie house is better. Okay. And the seats and everything, because like the Alamo Draft House has like those stupid, oh yeah, boards and, uh, and it's not as comfortable. But yeah, no, I I Ipex is really high end, but that's really expensive stuff. Well, hopefully, yeah. it's better than the uh, Lamborghini movie. I don't know. I, my expectations I, are never super high for these movies. I read a, um, an article talking. And they specifically mentioned that it was not like the Lamborghini movie. <laughs> Good. Didn't it say, I just read a quick blurb, but it's documenting the worst year in Enzo's life, like one particular yeah. year? It's 1957, which was the year after his son died. The, the Fry race team were doing horrible. Um, Fry as a company was not doing that great. Uh, he had just started cheating on his wife. I mean, it's just, yeah, all, all the bad things rock happened. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know if you can define it as rock bottom for him, but you know, maybe it was, I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> we need to do that. That would be fun. That would be fun. Oh, Grand oh, yeah, Grand Turismo. Yeah. Okay, Meg and I were talking about going to that, um, but I was like, I don't want to drag you to a car movie. Like, I feel bad taking you to a car movie. Yeah, Jeff said earlier it was all right. Yeah, was, having a car guy say that it's just all right is not. My maybe. brother, who's not a car guy, and his wife saw it, and he really liked it. So maybe it's a non-car. That's the problem. I feel like as a, it's like when a car yeah. guy goes to watch like Fast and Furious. You're just like, really? Yeah. yeah. It's like how I feel about the F1 show, Drive to Survive. It's like way too dramatized. It's like yeah. The the watching the races is the the drama. I don't need a show about it. Well, yeah. but that's why it's popular now because well, of for the drama. all the people. Oh, oh yeah. I'm not saying it doesn't have its place, but. Yeah. For enthusiasts, it's like, yeah. What's the high mileage Ferrari you feel comfortable purchasing? Totally depends how well it's maintained. Mm-hmm. If I it's mean, maintained well, I would take a 50,000 mile car, no problem. Shit, I would buy a 100,000 mile car, no problem, for the yeah. right price. Yeah. If yeah. it was maintained correctly. Mm-hmm. Actually, with some of the older cars, that's not unheard of. You know? 100,000 mile Testarossa, yeah, I've seen those. Actually, what was it? There was a 136,000 mile 458. Four, yeah. Wow. Wow. And they wanted a lot of money. But they still <laughs> really? wanted like 165 for Damn. it. Yeah, Holy they wanted cow. like 165. We were like, dude, no. You smoke crack. I would, the only thing is, like, if you're going to have a 100 plus thousand mile 458, I feel like you have to do a valve cleaning. Like that thing's gonna be gummed up to heaven. Yeah. I think we're gonna do that on our project car. Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, the hundred thousand mile Enzo. Yeah. Yeah. That thing's out there. The thing's we, awesome. We met like, those guys. Yeah. That was cool. Like ten times. <laughs> yeah. It was everywhere we were. It was weird. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're going to the right events, that's all. <laughs> uh Hoovies Farm Eight still ran well. Yeah. And that, yeah, it probably was not maintained that well. So that's a testament to the 458, right? It just, it was put together poorly but uh, after the wreck and still doing pretty decent. Oh, great. Yeah, driving characteristics were awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think you actually adjust the valves. You just got to clean out the, clean them out. They're they're hydraulic, um, aren't they hydraulic? Uh, I think so. Yeah, they they don't need to be adjusted. 
yeah, it's not like you have valve flash adjustments on those. Mm. It was oh, well, it was more than a slight hoopty. <laughs> yeah, it was a full on hoopty. Yeah. Tyler, did you get your car back in working order? Are you still uh, have a suspension issue? Yeah, we're still dealing with that. Okay. Mm. Have you looked at it, Dan and Josh? No. No. Okay. No. He just needs one more shock done, right? Yep. We, we need a lift that if we screwed it up, it could stay there, yeah. undrivable, <laughs> and we don't have that. So I'm waiting for the experts to come back to town. <laughs> you could borrow our quick jacks. Well, like, yeah, well, we can that... do it in your garage, Dan. Go well, my garage? Been... Yeah. If it's held up there, he doesn't want well, to stop. Well, that's what I said. I was like, I don't want a car. I mean, Tyler, if you like... want the quick jacks, I have them at my house. You could come and get them. Huh. Yeah, maybe. We'll get it off the ground enough to do the shock. That's a thought. Yeah. <laughs> I think we could handle, I think we could do it and it'll be fine. Probably. I just don't know if there's any like computer. Well, we have the McLaren stuff in our scanner. Uh, yeah, I'm not confident. That. I'm, I'm not confident. The we could plug it in and see. Yeah, what probably might not be good enough for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, prop. No, we've done lots of probablys with that car. So okay. <laughs> we, we, we saw a T50. We saw that there. Yeah, it was weird. I the back end was weird. It. Oh, oh did, seen, you did hear it actually, right? We've seen MP four twelve Cs hit eighty thousand. Oh yeah, we, they, they used to be. They used, used to be eighty talking, grand. Bring back up to eighty. <laughs> I would buy one of those for eighty grand if it was a nice one. That's They're a great car cars. They really grand. are. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, hell, uh, it's a riot. I mean, six fifty is the same thing. I mean, they're. Yeah. Yeah. It's the most fun you can have for that much money. Oh yeah, they're fa They're fast as hell. Yeah. Definitely fun. Oh, 80k Canadian. Oh, I don't know. What what's you that conversion rate? Salvage title one for that. Probably. <clears throat> Jeez. Yeah. Oh. So it sounds like uh maybe the food truck thing is the best idea, huh? That's that was <laughs> yeah, jumping back with that. Calls. Yeah. I'll have to talk to Josh about that. Yeah. Oh, I, I wasn't on for that, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah we, were, we were just talking about for the uh, grand opening. Maybe yeah. it makes sense just just hire a food truck. I mean, that would be expensive. Yeah. Well, if, no if you make people pay for their own dinner, do you still owe them a fee to bring you, them out? Usually, yeah, yeah you got to pay them like a fee to show up and then plus the well, I don't want to have make people buy their own food and stuff. But that's though. what I was saying. Like, really? I would it's up pay to you guys, but I think everyone would be fine doing that. Mm. I'm not fine with people doing well, then, that. <laughs> sure. Like we invited you to come to our place, and by the way, you gotta pay money to to you know yeah. do our thing. Yeah. So yeah, well, you can't compare us to DDE. They've got millions of dollars, or at least pretend <laughs> yeah. millions of dollars. <laughs> I, yeah. And we I, don't want to cook. We want to intermingle with the people, and we don't want any of our friends to cook either. Yeah. yeah. We don't want to do anything. We want to hire someone else to do it for us so we can enjoy the party. Yeah. yeah. It'd be a riot. It'd be fun to cook, but not for 100 people. For 50. No. Yeah. Yeah. For, I mean, for a, a meal, annoying. too, not two. Not yeah, that's hours. the thing. It's all, it's all day, so it could, it could end up extending over two meals. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. We talked all about this kettlebell. I thought you were here earlier. <laughs> <laughs> just go back and watch the beginning <laughs> yeah all right which way do i think the car market is going uh i think it's flat right now until it decides what's going to happen next and i think that's dependent on what happens with the stock market and the economy yeah I feel everything like is kind of everything is kind of consolidating right now and we'll see what happens there's definitely some cars going up and some cars kind of coming down a little bit. Some are bit. going up, some are going down, some are staying flat. It's kind of just towing the line right now. Yep. Yeah. You know, if if things get rough with the stock market and the economy, then cars are going to go down in value. But they'll come back up. Yeah. If you're thinking about buying, I think now's a good time to buy. Yeah, I do feel like there's... I feel like there's a lot of cars that are priced reasonable. Like, yeah. 
um, a year I ago. Think four five eights, four five eights right now are priced I was really well. Just gonna say the four five eight yeah. right now is also three sixties. Yeah, I think three sixties got really cheap for some well, reason. So I think three sixties got overheated. They they corrected. Yeah, and now they're kind of flat and kind of coming back up again. Mm-hmm. So I think you give them time and they're going to be worth more again. The problem They'll is be back to where they were. But the problem is the four thirties need to come up some before the three sixties can keep right. coming up. Because right now three sixties are smack up against the bottom of the four thirty market. So there's there's got to be a gap, right? Like the four thirties yeah. need to go up some. And I think the California is probably a little undervalued. Oh yeah. Have you sold that yet? It, no. No. I think good, I think it, you get a lot of you get a lot of car for a hundred grand or so. Yeah, I mean you get yeah. a modern you get all the modern tech that's at four five eight and everything, and you got a yeah. pretty good looking car. I, yeah, I don't understand good. why they're so cheap, but and that's I guess the other problem right now is uh, the interest rates are so high that it's yeah it's hurting a lot of the the cars. I don't think the twelve Cs are ever going to go up from where they're at now, ever. Yeah, Not really. I don't. I don't think people view those cars as investments. Well, not only that, they're super expensive to work on. Way more than a Ferrari. Well, and it's in. There's only a handful of places that can actually work on them. Yep. Yeah, like there's a huge number of shops that will work on a Ferrari. Yeah, Greg, I think you're right. A Cali would be a great daily driver. Oh, dude. I was joking with Meg uh, when I was watching the Hoobie video where he sold the FF. I was like, dude. All these stupid uh, soccer moms buying Cadillac SUVs need to be going out and buying a Ferrari FF. <laughs> Heck yeah. Why did he sell the FF already? Because that other dealership offered to buy it for probably way more than he, we sold it to him for, which makes me mad because we hooked him up. I know. We gave him a deal on it. We gave him a deal because he's like, I'm not going to sell it forever. And we're like, okay, cool. Who did he sell it to? Did Some, he say? Some Chevy dealer. Yeah, it's a Chevy dealership in Wichita. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. We would have it's bought on, it back from him. I it's know. On their site. How much are they asking? They're they're selling it for one thirty. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Go buy it back from that dealership at wholesale. Why Hobie made a mistake. Chevy I'll take that it off. That just doesn't hand. make any sense. Uh, that car still had a year left on the warranty. Yeah. Dude, no, that was a super wow. clean, super good car. Oh, well. I would have taken it back just to drive it around more in town. Yeah, that was, it was, that was a yeah. great car. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, he sold it. He missed their first right of refusal, so he's giving them good deals. Kind <laughs> of. I mean, that was his excuse. Give me a break. We know how that works. He just he didn't give them a good deal. If they have it listed for one thirty, he probably sold it to them for. I bet you. I would say he sold it probably one fifteen, one ten. He didn't. He did not say the price in the video because he started saying uh-huh. the prices while the cars got the FF, and he went, "Oh, that's <laughs> a good number." That was a funny thing. He <laughs> broke the prices. I'm going, "Where's the FF? Where's the FF?" Because I want to hear what you know they offered him, and then he skipped it. And also, he's like, "Well, I sold the FF." And I was like, "Well, oh, in I'm his defense, it. he has to keep buying and selling cars to keep interest in his channel, I guess." Yeah. yeah. If he's not selling stuff and buying stuff, then yeah, it's part of part of his yeah. thing. Yeah. How many personal Ferraris does he need? That he's not like yeah. using on the channel or you know, whatever. Well, and frankly, that from the start we told we're like, why are you buying this car? It has nothing wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be boring to you. It is. And look, <laughs> look how long it lasted. It didn't even last like two months because it was too. It was too good. Too reliable. It is totally. Yeah, and the, yes, I would love to visit his farm at some point. But yes. I don't know if I want to visit it right now when it's like, you know, in its construction phase. It's probably more interesting when it's done. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised he sold the Countach, but I mean, that's, you know, he probably got close to half a million dollars on it, or $407,000 on it. Oh, yeah, didn't he say it was 400 and something? Yeah, I forget. But something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that car was a. That was one of the probably that was probably one of the most valuable cars in his fleet, isn't it? I think so. I don't know. 
Maybe. Uh, that card, an open book maintenance plan for two years. There's no content to be had with the FF. Exactly. That was the pro like when he wanted to buy it. We're like, I'm not sure why he wanted that, but okay. Was that he lost two hundred grand on what on the on which car? On the Countach? There's no way he lost two hundred thousand on the Countach. He owned that for quite a few years. Hmm. He didn't sell it. Okay, I. I don't know. Apparently, I need to rewatch that video. I didn't watch it very closely. I was doing other stuff. Yeah. Actually, I had to work today, so. <laughs> For a change, right? <clears throat> I think I was watching it while uh, playing a um, game with my kids, so I wasn't exactly <laughs> paying full attention. Yep. Oh, the Countach is absolutely an example of not wanting or not. Oh, you should not meet your heroes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is like dry. It is just yeah. It's a terrible car. Yeah, it'll never look as good as a poster on your wall when you were a kid. <laughs> yep. Except it for always, that one in Monterey. <laughs> yeah, right. That's that was the thing that was so impressive. It was like the first time seeing a Countach that we were like, "Wow, it's not a pile of shit." Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure when it's w properly kind of driving well it's sublime no <laughs> no no i don't think Dude, so. peak performance it drives worse than the diablo and the diablo drives like dog Man, shit i guess i gotta drive one to find out you do it's i can't take your word for it so yeah. like okay actually you do need to meet your hero because you'll be like wow i was so wrong <laughs> that's it <laughs> about my hero it is yeah you're just so, hmm. wow and then you'll be like yeah they were right that thing is a turd no, it, it's you, you. You buy and drive that car because you like I don't know sadism or whatever or masochism. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I don't know, man. There's some cars that just you drive. I, I mean, but it's like the Mercy Lago. It's an absolutely horrible car, and yet I still love driving it. Yeah. So I mean, I guess there's people who love those cars and love driving them even the guy the guy that got the mercy uh emailed and said he's loving the car good oh sweet <laughs> that's nice. good yeah that makes me happy i'm glad hey that's you know what like it's... that's cool like it's cool to see that that car god what a screaming deal he got in that car yeah, yeah. no kidding jeez it's one of those where you're like man Oh yeah, okay. Who he sold the black FF, the Corvette, mm. and three other cheap cars. Okay. Or trucks or whatever. So he he sold crap that no one really cared about. Like did he ever show anything on that Corvette? I didn't even know he really had it. I remember the video of him buying it, but that I don't think there's much else. I don't know. Hmm. Whatever. I, mean, I do know we only have 35 likes and there's 105 people watching. So, oh, oh man, you should the it's like ratio is kind of low. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of sad. It is kind of sad. Not numbers matching. Yeah, the 66 was not like oh. an original. Okay. Whatever. Anything did they offer? It was a 427, wasn't it? Whatever. I think so. I don't know. I don't really Corvette stuff, whatever. <laughs> Sixty-seven non-matching engine, other stuff, whatever. Eh, Corvette. Oh, dang! Just jumped up to forty-seven. There we go, forty-eight. Okay, it's a little better. A little better. I think like it needs to be at least at fifty or sixty. Yeah, we should have at least seventy. I mean, come on. If only they would. If only I could somehow get that to happen on my other videos. Right? That's what I need to do. Instead of saying like, share, and subscribe, I'm just be like, I'm just going to sit here until you hit like. <laughs> <laughs> and have it put the ads in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think that, I think you've said it before, but do you think that makes a difference yes. when YouTubers say like, share, they've, and subscribe? They've, they've, proven, yeah. it, they've proven really? it does. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah. Like, I don't want to say that crap. I think it's annoying, too. But it actually works because like the problem is like someone who actually likes the channel might just literally forget to click 
mm. like or subscribe or share. Honestly, or I never click like on any videos unless yeah. I'm reminded in some way because like I forget too. about it. Oh, but does that but, tra- change your behavior, Josh, if someone tells you? Yeah, if <laughs> someone tells me, I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. I need to like it. You know? Oh, yep. okay. Yeah, the, the, actually, the thing I want to promote more is the share. Yeah. The sharing thing is always the biggest. Like, like, likes are good. Yes. It gets more like, so like will help it get more promotion within the YouTube ecosystem. Right. And then, of course, share, subscribing is great because, well, hey, you're subscribed. Um, but then the sharing it thing gets it to external things in, if any of those external things get a high number of views, suddenly YouTube thinks, oh, this is a relevant video for this other, or you know, whatever, this topic or this thing or whatever. Yeah, and so it's sure. pushing it. Yeah. So it's actually really powerful. Like that's all like a substantial number of the videos that we've had that have gone big, went big because people shared them mm. on, mm. you know, social media platforms you know uh, forums whatever yeah so you know if yeah any of you guys who are like super fans want to help help us out that helps us out like go share our videos somewhere else that is huge i mean it's a it makes sense because it's a bigger ask it's it's someone's putting in their own like little reputation yeah i'm I'm endorsing this by sharing this video versus just liking and commenting is is private well at least individual yeah Turning on notifications is fantastic as well, but like the problem is, I feel like that annoys people. <laughs> yeah. So I only have like two channels that I have notifications on, and that's only because. So I'll like your channel, Gabe. I have notifications on your channel. Ah, wow. Because this is don't take this wrong, but because your channel's small, it doesn't get promoted to me. And so oh, okay. what's happening you don't see is. It. Your videos were coming out, and mm. I was not getting told about it. Makes sense. And so all of a sudden, uh, I think one of our friends was like, "Did you see Gabe's new video?" And I'm like, "No." Yeah, didn't pop up. And I was like, "Damn it! Why didn't it show it to me?" Because I'm like, "Son of a bitch!" So I'm like, "All right, no, that's not cool." Like, so yeah, nice. I hit notifications. I'm mildly honored. <laughs> and then who's who's the other channel? <clears throat> um. There's one or two other small YouTubers of people that I'm like friends with that. Mm. It's the pi- it's the pity notification. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, because well, it sounds terrible, but like I said, well, it's, it's true. It's I, I don't take it the wrong like, way. It's it's a fact. Right. If you got a yeah. if you got a big channel and I'm subscribed, yeah. you yeah. probably are more likely to get just shoved into my feed. But that's what really drives me nuts. Is like channels I'm subscribed to don't get yeah. pushed into my feed when they push out new videos. And that drives me nuts. Like, you know, it's like, those are the things I actually care about. Like, I understand that, yes, I'm on some weird um, history channel tangent right now, where I've been watching stuff about World War II for the last week. But, hey, I still want to watch car stuff, all right? Yeah. <laughs> actually, I, I went down a rabbit hole uh, over the last day or two, and I know it's going to screw up my feed. <laughs> And it's like one of those, that's the problem. You like, you click on these other videos and you're like, damn it, I'm going to start getting more of these videos now, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I do was, hate that. Someone links you something, you're like, oh, now I'm going to get videos for. I, I watched this one, I, I try my best to avoid political stuff because it just drives me nuts. And I watched this one video and it was supposed to be about the economy. And then halfway through the video, that son of a bitch did a bait and switch and started talking about <laughs> politics. And I was like, damn it, this has nothing to do with the economy. So all of a sudden, like half my feed was this political shit. And I'm like, no. So I'm like, <laughs> do not suggest. Do yeah. not suggest. Do not, not interested. Suggest. I was like, screw you. I'm not dealing with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I hate that crap. I, uh, Can you, I don't know how does gift subscriptions work? Like, uh, or memberships, I'm sorry, not oh, yeah. subscriptions. Yeah. Can, is that something you have to enable on your end, or is that just something people you, can do? You have to have a certain number of subscribers, yeah. and I think it's like 50,000. It's fairly large. Okay. And then you can turn it on and create different things and whatever. Um, and I know I'm, I'm so – I feel honored that there's – like there's actually like I think right now we have 48 subs, uh, members. Wow. And I feel terrible because I don't really do that much special 
other than put them at the end of the, every video, which I mean, that's still cool. But um, like, I've thought about like doing all sorts of stuff for them, but it's just they don't make it very like friendly to do stuff. Like one of the, one of the things I would love to do is have my videos go out without ads for anyone who's a member. Mm. It's like, hey, you're already giving me money. I don't need to make your, you know, but if, if all 48 of those people watched it and I didn't make ad revenue on it, oh, no, I lost like 12 cents. Yeah. You know, so I wouldn't give a crap about that. But yeah, you can do like private pictures for just the members or, you know, something. You can do private posts. You can do private videos for them. Oh, wow. Okay. So uh, dirty secret. I'll tell the entire <gasps> world. Um, so we did that. Uh, um, Steve's. 430 conversion series, oh, yeah. 11 part series. So Josh and I talked about it and we, it is no longer public. Only the first video is really? all the rest. You have to be a member. Hmm. And the reason we did that is because we realized that there are a bunch of other companies making money using our videos, doing conversion stuff that aren't necessarily having anything to do with us. And in fact, maybe they even hate us. But they're selling kits, and people are watching our video and converting their car. And so, like, well, screw that. We should make some money off that. So, yeah, that's true. Fair. It was a probably your most technical video series ever. Yeah, Dan, I thought of something the other day. I forgot to mention it to you. You, you oh. know what Patreon is, right? Yep. Everybody knows that. I was thinking of maybe we should do some kind of Patreon subscribership, and we well, that's, offer that's, like that's what membership is. Okay, well, I guess I guess it doesn't matter either way but we could offer some kind of market report every month or something and special deals on different mm. things and whatever for true. anybody that subscribes that's true a bikini car wash <laughs> <laughs> no. i don't want to scare away all the members yeah, you'd have these four people be, uh, washing your car i'm not even coming to that <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh 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 so we have a lot of people here oh yeah next week is what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> yes. Next yes. week is Ladies Night. <laughs> Next Thursday, Ladies Night. So bring all your dumb questions and may God have mercy on your souls. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna bother turning on monetization. <laughs> <laughs> There's no point. There's absolutely no point. Uh -oh. Get your questions ready. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh, I'm getting pinged. I'm sad I'm going to miss it because I'll be in Denver next week. Oh, no. I'll try and tune in. What happened? Oh, I think uh, Ash is having a hell of a time going down tonight. Mm. Well, we're almost out of time anyway. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> uh, but yes, babies, or, uh, baby, ladies' night. So <laughs> Allison and Megan will be on. I think I'll probably show up just to like set up the thing and then leave. That's the referee. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll be over. I'll sit right here off to the side, just so I can like, you know, drive and click on you know buttons that she wants clicked. That might but, help. Yeah, take away sorry. some of the admin side. I don't. You know, like yeah, she doesn't like have her have this whole interface. She doesn't need to learn that and and stuff that she doesn't care about. So, yeah. Can you do all that off camera? Like, pull up comments and you know, um, whatnot, ban people. But I mean, yeah. If I was sitting over to the side, but not be part of the. Uh, I need to. I need to see the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Join on a second computer, couldn't you? Just not join your video. I don't know how they're going to last an hour and a half. Like talking. They don't about have to stuff. do it. It's an hour and a half. <laughs> I, don't, don't see that I feel happening. like. I feel like it's going to be an hour. Alcohol. It, it's up to the hundred and ten people watching to keep them going for an hour yeah, and a half. Yeah. It's all True. you guys. Yeah. No, that. <laughs> not my wife. She's not. No. So that'd, be, that'd be fun. No. If she, she wants to. Does not. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I feel like that's not so. Wouldn't, your wife it wouldn't be her thing. Hmm. Um. Interesting. Oh, uh, we're getting we're getting questions about swaps and why wouldn't EAG be the swap company and stuff? What uh, does that mean? Wouldn't be what swap company? For uh, conversions, manual conversions. Right. Okay. No, there's, so there's, we're aware of three companies now 
doing parts for manual conversions. Yeah. Only one actually does installs of their own conversion, um, which is EAG. And so that was the thing is there's more competitors entering the space. So there's more people doing conversions and so it just made sense for us to make our like resource private or for pay because that was a lot of work mm -hmm. and like i don't know there's there's some stuff that i'll just say this there's always like in business there's always stuff right that goes on behind the scenes that's not pretty mm -hmm. and it's frustrating and when those things happen, you kind of change your opinions of how you want to present stuff. And at some point, like the, there, there's a there's a limit to how much stuff you're like, I'm gonna do this because of the goodwill I have towards the community. And there's other stuff where it's like, nah, hell, all you, fuck all y'all. I need to make money on this, you know. And I felt like we were at the point where th those videos need to be, fuck everyone, we need to make money on them. Sorry, yeah. but it just kind of got to that point. It might even make people more engage in them because if you didn't buy it, it's just like, yep. like it, 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 it gives more of an incentive, I think, to watch the videos. It, it reserves them for people who need them, who want them. Well, and if you buy it, you're gonna watch it versus just entertainment. I mean, people are gonna get lost on like the sixth or seventh, you know, video. True. Yeah, I mean, no one was really watching. I mean, the, the, those videos had already run their natural YouTube lifespan. Basically, they were only getting, you know, a couple of views a week at this point anyway. But the thing is, the people who are watching those all the way through are gaining valuable knowledge. Yep. So that's where yep. I was like, okay, pay to play is fair. Exactly yep. what Raccoon Man said. Yep. Yeah, pay to play. So it's not like we're asking much. Well, actually, I am. I think we're. I think at first I was an asshole and put it. You have to be a, uh, a Megs fan in order to. Oh, shit. We, should see, we should see if we could get her on the live. Oh, that'd be hilarious! Oh god. I, I don't think we can afford her. her. <laughs> I don't think we can afford her. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> yeah, Gabe, say your channel out loud as well. Yeah, I'm, co I'm po commenting it in here, but people aren't. Uh oh reading it it's my name gabe orlowitz racing um a little bit what of spec me out of stuff uh because i'm getting into racing 360 content and sim content what's funny is well first of all yeah youtube is i'm not i don't feel like i'm built for youtube it's hard to keep up with it <clears throat> but what's interesting is a while back i posted sim videos and those did those do super well Sim, the racing sim stuff. I just haven't made videos on it, so I, I really need to double down on that, but I haven't yet. Hmm. All right, last I have minute. a full-time job, so YouTube is not my job. It's just a something I, if I have the energy to do, which kind of sucks, but yep, yeah. I like this arrangement. I can help on Thursday nights. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't have to run on my own channel. So. Yeah, and show up, drink a beer, watch yeah. some stuff, talk. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's fun to do. So, yeah. All right, everyone. That's pretty much it for this week. So again, next week, ladies' night. Um, RSVP if you're gonna come to the the grand opening. And um, yeah, we've got. Oh, we bought another Ferrari. Forgot to mention that it'll be in video soon. The 430 Spider should be here very very soon. Sweet. So totally forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, that'll do it for tonight. So we'll see you guys, uh, you guys next later. Week. So have a good one. Cheers. Yeah.